Hey, I'm Dr. Eric Baker with Dental Implants GPS. Today we're going to do a quick rewind. Uh, I'm going to watch some of the reaction videos from some of my patients over the last few months and I'll give you some detail around their stories. Are you still drinking beer, right? <laughs> you still drink beer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> you just have a smile. Oh, damn. Oh. You look awesome, man. What are you doing, dog? And you're just pulling your way on. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> your face doesn't move quite right just yet. Mm. All this is still going to be done for a little bit. It's good. You like it. Yeah. Any customer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely none of the top people. Invest all of your, your healthy guns and factory. Yeah. Get your Wi Fi here to take a look as well. I love it. He cared most about drinking beer still. <laughs> yeah, I think he just sold his business. Uh, he and his wife lived here. He's about to move to, to Tennessee, uh, where his family lives. His teeth had kind of gone downhill over the last few years, and he wanted to put his best foot forward. He wanted to be able to, to show that, you know, his kids, grandkids, like a nice, nice set of teeth. He had really bad periodontal disease, so tons of gum loss and bone loss. I don't know if you can appreciate it in the picture, but he had quite a bit of gum loss and bone loss. His teeth were flapping in the wind, you know, kind of, kind of move, very mobile. Um, didn't have any back teeth, so chewing was a huge problem for him. He never had a space between his front teeth in the past, and as his teeth became more mobile, the teeth start to kind of spread apart, and so he had that space, so it didn't really look like him, what he was used to seeing in the mirror. That's why he came in to see us. You know, he had quite a bit of infections as well, in the bone and the gums, um, so doing the GPS procedure was able to clear all that up, so, you know, brought him in, and. The video that we just saw was immediately after surgery. So we had just taken out his teeth, we had cleaned out all the infections, we had placed implants and given him his new bridge of teeth. That was him uh, for the first time ever seeing it. I mean, awesome reaction. Comparing himself to Tom Cruise, love that. <laughs> Open day for me. Good. Good. Yeah, you look awesome. Cool. Should we let you see that? Yeah. Here's your, uh, here's your mirror. Oh, hi. I love her parents in the background. It's awesome. I love them. I love them still. I know. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, she's one of my favorite yeah, patients. Show mom and dad. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, show me. Thank you. Awesome. There's a whole team of people that have been. I know. Then, uh, you know, after working and Thank all the behind the scenes people. Getting things dialed for you. They look awesome. Thank cool. you. Congratulations. Thank yeah, you. we're so excited to, excited for you and, and your future. Oh, she's so sweet. <clears throat> Nicole, she um, just dealt a bad hand. I mean, everyone can tell she's really young. She's really beautiful. Um, teeth just did not match her, didn't match her personality, didn't match her anything about her. She's brilliant, she's super smart, she's um, at a major university in, her, in a master's program. Has like everything going for her um, in, her, in her young age and her teeth are just not fitting for who she is, you know? Um, she, and she's taking good care of her teeth. She's brushed and flossed and done all the things that she should do uh, to take care of her God-given natural teeth and they still have deteriorated so she has um, actually has a kind of a rare disease, it's called amelogenesis imperfecta, which basically makes it so that the enamel of your teeth is malformed and shears off and breaks down really, really easily. So where, you know, you and I would get cavities over a number of years from neglect, I mean, for her, it, it takes a matter of months, you know, for things to really, really break down. So um, tons of gum inflammation there from the breakdown of her teeth, um, kind of gum infection. So her gums are really inflamed, really red and swollen and, and her teeth aesthetically just didn't fit her, her beauty. So um, super sweet girl, so excited to give her 
a new smile because it's so meaningful, particularly for somebody that's got, you know, 75 years left to live their life. Um, to be able to give them that renewed confidence and get her get her spunk back. I love seeing these these patients that, um, like her, come in really reserved. So everything is kind of like this, you know, covering their mouth with every everything they say. They don't really smile. They smile with their hand over their mouth. If they're if they're forced to laugh, like they're covering their mouth. Um, as opposed to now, when I see her, she comes in and she's chatting people up and she's bright and you know her her demeanor is completely different it's like this closed off personality has been released and she's open and and uh you know showing her her in inner and external beauty so love the goal so so fun to work with her so uh, open for me sure. yeah so this His backstory is he came in with his wife, um, they've been married forever, and he came in, it's so funny the things that that kind of finally get people, like if I look at his, his picture there, you would think that he probably would have taken care of his issues years ago, but you know, he's a tough guy, he doesn't need to, he's like dealing with it and doing fine thing that actually got him to say, all right, enough is enough, and I want to fix my teeth, is one of his grandkids said, Grandpa, where are your teeth? And uh, like that did it. It's, it's so interesting to me that it's, you know, he, he, he's put himself, you know, second for so long, he, he just didn't even think about it. He's like, yeah, I just get up, I gotta work every day, I do my thing. And yeah, I, I lose a tooth here and there and here and there, you know, over the years. And he kind of gets used to it. And before you know it, it's like, man, there's a, he's got no teeth. He's got no teeth to eat with. And the thing that got him to do it is not breakfast every morning or lunch every afternoon or dinner every evening. It's his grandson, grandchild saying, Grandpa, where's your teeth? Um, I mean, it's obviously super emotional. This is an emotional decision to, to fix these things that you know it fixes a bunch of functional problems but it's an emotional journey that people go on because we're all insecure you know we, we all have our insecurities um, he included you know clearly by the reaction that he had to his, his grandchild you know commenting on his missing teeth but and then to see that kind of come full circle you know, right after surgery you know he gets to see himself with teeth again for the first time in years um, and to see this tough guy you know shed tears is is awesome like it's, it's why i get up in the morning you know it's so cool to to be able to see that and have a uh, an amazing guy like him that's been dedicated to his family for so many years and put himself second um, get to do something for himself thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe love for you to be part of these life-changing stories with us mm -hmm.